So the first problem I want to work through um, says that I have a buffer. And by the way, whenever I say buffer, let's start with this idea. I want you to plant this idea in your head. Buffer is equal to salt plus acid. Whenever you see the word buffer, I want you to write that down. Think about buffer is equal to salt plus acid. Because to have a buffer, you have to have both of these things. Okay? The henderson hasselbalch equation, remember, said that pH is equal to pKa plus the log, the concentration of salt divided by the concentration of acid. Now, to keep things simple, for the most part, I will work, since we're typically working in uh, one volume, I will typically work with moles because we can add and subtract moles and we don't have to go through a lot of considerations for concentration. So I will tend to work with these quantities as quantities, not as concentrations. If we wanted to be um, true to the equation, we would work with concentrations, but since the volume is constant, uh, working with moles is completely uh, acceptable. Now, this uh, equation is very important because this equation says that if we increase the amount of salt, what's going to happen? Well, if we increase the amount of salt, the pH is going to increase. If we increase the amount of acid, what's going to happen? Well, the pH is going to decrease because the log term is going to get uh, more negative. Some basic concepts I want students to remember about logarithms because I think it's very useful to know without being able to, without using a calculator, for example, that uh, this log term, we can estimate values of it very, very easily. And okay, how does that go? Well, if we start with the value of the salt over the acid, if the value of the salt over the acid is greater than one, that means that the log term is positive, okay? So if I had a value of salt of two and I had an acid value of one, this would be a value of two, which is greater than one. That would mean this log term is positive. What does that mean? Well, a positive number added to a pKa is going to give a pH that's higher than the pKa. On the other hand, if this log term is less than one, Let's say I had a value of salt of 1 and I had acid of 3, that would be 1 third, which is less than 1. Then that log term is negative, meaning that that number is going to subtract from the pKa, which means that the pH is going to be less than the pKa when we have that, when we have that situation. The third situation, of course, is when the salt equals the acid. When the salt equals the acid, that ratio equals 1 and the log of one is equal to zero. So when salt equals acid, pH equals pKa. And that turns out to be really important because that's where we saw that inflection point on that graph, and that was where, as we will see, we will have the maximum ability of a buffer to resist changes in pH. And I'm gonna repeat that, okay? When salt equals acid, the pH equals the pKa, and the buffer has the maximum ability to resist changes in pH.